I've got all these windmills and these flags. You gotta have wind. This art belongs in Kansas out where it's windy in a sea of grass, and that's where it is. That's where it's gonna stay. I got this right here, along here, is the biggest tourist attraction west of Wichita, Kansas. It is. Bigger than Boot Hill. So what? And I noticed Greensburg put up the sign. They were counted one of the eight wonders of Kansas. Well, they leave me pretty much alone because I'm very opinionated. I get political. Like as you've seen my asshole sign down there on the street about Fred Phelps. That son of a bitch! Well, I don't give a shit whether you like my art or not. All artists are that way. A good artist will never ask you how you like something, because he doesn't give a shit. They don't care whether you like it or not. They do it to satisfy themselves. When you take a piece of art away from here that I've built, I'm in that art. You're taking a piece of me with you. Here's one of the reasons I'm an artist today. When I was raised up, we were poor. Poor, poor. And I was in the third or fourth grade, and this teacher said, draw a picture of a cow. Well, I drew a picture of a cow, and only had one crayon, and the damn thing was purple. So I colored it purple. You know, if you do art, that's in your mind. Like every one of these pieces of art, I don't draw out nothing. I just lay it up on that table and make it. I drew a cow that was flying cow. And this damn teacher held it up in front of the class and ridiculed the hell out of it. Like, look what Myron T. did. Art teachers probably destroy more artists than they create, really. Well, you know, I said to hell with it. So I quit on art for years, but I've always wrong. So I bought this purple cow at an auction someplace. I just bought it, so there's my purple cow. And that is one of my most favorite stories. When you do this kind of art to hell with fit, you make it look rough. One thing you always got to remember going through this life, you cannot fix stupid. Remember that.